Welcome to the channel where I make recordings of my board games and you can see them in action. I focus primarily on recently published war games and solitaire play. Feel free to leave comments or ask questions. And all corrections are welcome, so if you see me make a mistake in the rules, don't be shy, go ahead and call it out. Politely, if you would please. And now, on to today's game. Welcome! I wanted to do this video to indicate that, yes, I am still alive. <laughs> Moved into my new house. Uh, I don't know about the echo situation here yet. I know I've got loud air conditioning going on here. Not much I can do about that. But I managed to pull out, find out stuff out of the boxes. Uh, I pulled out my card table and my bed sheet. Uh, I have not found the iron yet, so if you would... Give me a break on the wrinkles. <laughs> anyway, Churchill finally came. The reprint. And won a game I have not played before. And I'm pretty jazzed. What I'm going to do, because everyone wants to know. First thing is... Storage. <laughs> Does it all fit in the box? And the answer is very, very much so. And, um... Okay. First thing you pull out of a box should be the rule book. In fact, any who says otherwise, anathema sit. Let them be anathema. Okay. Got our cards. These are just spares. You know, GMT is good about giving you spares. I can check and do some stuff. I uh, got a green uh, UK, Russia, and US dice. They're pretty nice. I uh, still wish it was custom, though. Like a star for this one, or I don't know. Okay, anyway. I rent. Mm, here's our bot and our player aids. And the board, and of course the question that is on a lot of people's minds is, does it all fit in the trays? And one tray, yes. I managed to finagle it all in there without too much issue. And... Be this is something important to me as a solo player because I really like it uh, when I can play from the tray. I basically just pull out what I need as I go and it makes the tear down so much easier instead of having, setting all the stuff up around the board and having to you know throw it in later. So play from the tray. That's kind of the, kind of the solo standard I shoot for. And this one uh, gets high marks for that in case you're wondering. Okay, so then we go from this to this. Yes, this is the setup for the training scenario, which is probably we're going to start with. Uh, well, pardon me, you may hear my son playing the Takata and Fugue upstairs. Um, the uh, all is nice, self-contained. Although I kind of wish there was like a spot, a designated spot for like cards and, and things like that. But other than that, it's a great setup. Uh, and as usual, GMT stuff looks great. And anyway, this is the training scenario. Now, the first thing I want to make clear, this is not going to be a learn to play. There are several videos of that already up. Very good ones, by the way. Uh, so just do a search of those on YouTube and find those. Uh, I, in fact, I, I went through a couple of those before the game came just to kind of get my my bearings. Uh, but no, this is not learn. This is not learn to play. You'd almost think of this as like a let's play if it was a video game. So I'm just going to go through it here. But what I'm going to do, and I just noticed this when I hadn't noticed this before, is in Mark Herman does it a little different in this game. He goes and gives a narrative uh, example of play where he's where he's taking the voice of Churchill. And just kind of weaving his thoughts in. And that's, uh, I think, I haven't seen anyone, I don't see any videos online of somebody actually going through this thing. And pushing the pieces around and going through them. And just reading a welcome as Prime Minister is my happy task to steer you to the intricacies of power. power. That's, how he, that's how he goes there. So I think I'm going to actually do that I'll, uh, in the next episode. And that's where we'll start. Is I'll just read through that and we'll push the push it all around and, and, and see how it goes. Um, I don't think I'll do the accent. <laughs> we shall get the licks on the beaches, yeah, and I like the landing grounds and that. <laughs> Film it on our mobiles, big time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I think uh, that's uh, how I want to approach this. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And I think that will be everything. And just as a kind of a 
I always like to keep a little abreast of you know what I'm reading. So I was thinking about uh, the Mediterranean front here, and the, they're well advanced. Uh, by the, it's going to be this will start at the, the training scenario starts at conference eight and goes to ten. And I got me thinking I want to read Army at Dawn, which I have not read before. And I hear lots of good things about it. Hey, winner of the Pulitzer Prize. Mm -hmm. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. So, I think that's it. Join us next time. We're going to start the training scenario with a Mark Herman's rather interesting uh, narrative uh, illustrated example of play. And thanks for watching.